Hi, I'm Paul Darley, and thanks for tuning into our June issue of Inside Darley. After a very strong 2013, I'll tell you 2014 with respect to the fire service seems to be getting off to a much slower start than most of us had anticipated. And in speaking with our OEM customers, their dealers, fire department customers, our suppliers, at least anecdotally, everyone seems to say that the fire service has been fairly soft the first six months of the first five months of this year. Some of the reasons cited for that are perhaps a new buying cycle, which you know is, is has more purchases happening in the later part of the year. But I think also this year with our harsh winter. Uh, money that was maybe allocated to the fire service is being shifted over to the road departments and other areas of municipalities to cover everything from, you know, salting the road to now fixing potholes and things of that nature. So hopefully the fire service will see a, a turnaround rather quickly in that area. And we are getting a boost from our AFG grants. That's the assistance of firefighter grants. Uh, those began being awarded on April 18th. So far there's been $22 million of the $288 million set aside for that grant have now been awarded. Um, and as you look back at that grant program, the AFG grant program, since it started in 2001, there's been over $5.6 billion federal dollars flowing into the fire service. That's really been critical. One of the interesting thing to note is of those awards that have ma been made so far, there has not been one award for actually fire apparatus. Most of it's been for PPE equipment, training, uh, and other safety equipment. So, um, you know, and, and under the program, 25% of the total grant can be awarded to fire apparatus, uh, for fire apparatus. And our first attachment here is actually an excellent summary of where FEMA's been with the AFG grants, and more importantly, where it's going. And it was presented by our good friend, David Godinus at uh, FEMA presented it at the FDIC earlier this year, so we'd encourage you to take a look at that. And what you can do is get involved with your legislators and make sure that they're uh, aware of what's going on and what the needs of the fire service are. Here in Illinois, we're really doing it. Uh, uh, we have our ninth annual Illinois Fire Service Home Day. It's going to be held June 5th, and that's working together with FEMA and FEMSA, as well as our Metropolitan Fire Chiefs. So we're anticipating, again, over 150 attendees. We've got a keynote speaker who's U.S. Congressman Mike Quigley. And uh, we'd encourage you, if you're around the, the uh, Illinois area and you can join us, we'd love to have you you come by. We actually also had our own U, uh, U.S. Congressman just visit us recently. Uh, Congressman Peter Roskam came through and he's been a strong supporter of the fire service. He's a member of the U.S. Fire Caucus and hopefully you can reach out to your congressman and encourage them to join that caucus if they're not members. On the uh, defense side of our business, I'll tell you, we've attached for you our second attachment here. It's just an excellent uh, research report put out on uh, spending for the U.S. Department of Defense and gets all the way into uh, not only the U.S. Department, it talks about uh, fire depart or uh, defense departments around the world, talks about different uh, major companies, does a complete SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats for a lot of different organizations. So if you're in the defense industry, we'd encourage you to take a look at that report. And then our last attachment here is actually a Darley Defense Capability Statement. So these days in our defense business, which now represents more than half of our business, you know, we've got a really wide breadth of products out there. Everything from fuel transfer pumps to drones to water purification and our TLS contracts. Those are our distribution contracts for firefighting equipment and special operations. And you can, on this uh, sheet, you'll see our GSA numbers and a lot of other things. So. So thanks for tuning into this issue of Inside Darley. If there's anything we can be doing to support you, we hope you'll reach out to us.